Okay, quick video here uh, for QuickBooks Online Edition. Let's say you want to make labels to label all your existing inventory in f from all your items in QuickBooks. Uh, with Label Connector for QuickBooks Online Edition, you can pull in all your items into our application and quickly print labels for them. I'm going to do it really quickly here and just show you um, all right, we got to select a label design. So we'll select the, I've got an inventory label already set up here for us. Four by three inventory label. And print one each. <coughs> okay, so it's printed one label for each one of the items I have here in QuickBooks. Uh, in this case I made a design that had a barcode for the item and uh, uh, put the sales price on there if the sales price is defined in the item. So I've got the item from QuickBooks, I've got the item as a barcode and the sales price. Um, so this just automatically goes down and pulls out for each one of the items uh, you can selectively, you know, uncheck certain items in here, you know, and then reprint, you know, whatever items you want to search and filter on, you can print inventory labels for those items from that are in your QuickBooks. You can also print the quantity on hand as the quantity to print, or you can print, you know, any quantity that uh, you want to specify in these boxes here. Um, <clears throat> we also have PO mode. I'm not going to be able to show you on this, but with this particular version of QuickBooks I have here, um, we don't have a version showing POs here. But you can use your purchase orders that you've uh, sent to your vendors. Search on the purchase order, and we'll pull down the whole list of the items on that PO. And I'll show that in, no in another video. Um, and we can print items. So for your inbound inventory. If you sent a PO to a vendor, you can search on that PO here. We'll pull back the items, and the same kind of a grid appears, and we can pull and print item labels, uh, inventory labels for anything that was on that PO that went out to your vendor and then came in the door to you. So we call that inbound label printing, and that's another way to do your inventory labels, right, to get those printed. And you can do them with or without barcodes. You know, um, in our label designer, I'll kind of show you quickly the label that I had created here, but um, <clears throat> you can do any size label. Uh, we do require a label style printer uh, to work with our application because it's designed for people that are doing a little bit more labels, you know. But um, so this is the item barcode that pulls the QuickBooks item. Um, I'll just take this off and show you. Basically, we have a macro right here where you just drag that out and you've got a an item label. Uh, you can also use other types of uh, barcode types. Uh, all these different barcode types are supported. So uh, you can talk to us about doing any of that. Um, if you needed to put your QuickBooks item on the label, all you do is go into our uh, predefined set of QuickBooks um, data sources here and you just drag the item name out from QuickBooks and that'll that's what will be on your label and we'll substitute that with what's been driven to it from QuickBooks in the other screen we use the item list you could use the PO you know and then this is like what we call you know a fixed data source field um, so the way I added that was I basically just dragged down from the corner here and I just type into this box And you've got a what we call like a static piece of data on the label. So this part would not dynamically change. <coughs> excuse me, with the di information that's coming from QuickBooks. Uh, same thing I did here for the sales price. Again, adding that to the label. You can do any size and dimension of label here. And we have separate videos on this. You know, for doing, uh, you know, designing from scratch. We have like just designer videos for you as well. So here you just pick the sales price data source and drag that out. Um, again you can kind of set a bunch of different settings. Um, once you have it added uh, you just access the setting for the highlighted field here. Uh, there's all kinds of ability to like 
you know, move things on the design together. You see there's an alignment capability, the red verticals, so you can align things up. Some nice design features here. You can add your logo as well. Uh, but basically, that's how I designed this label. Um, we called it the inventory label 4x3. So then if you go back to our label printing screen, and again, you, you could use a purchase order for this or the item list. I'm just using the item list as an example for for this case. Um, and then just to drive some labels out, I'll just show you. I'm just doing the print one each example. And again, we've got the, the barcode on there with your item, part number, price, and sales price. Um, you know, you can put the dollar sign um, in a few different ways here. Um, you can even do it as like a suffix right after this with a space. Um, so that's a quick overview for you on how to do inventory labels. Once you have these labels created and put onto all your goods, uh, you can then scan these barcodes into QuickBooks Online into any of the QuickBooks Online screens. You can scan it to make an invoice, scan it to make a sales receipt or an estimate. Usually people would use it to make an invoice, right? As you're taking these goods out of stock, you can take a scanner, scan this, and make an invoice using your barcode labels that you create ahead of time and get everything labeled. Uh, give us a call anytime at AccuWare. <clears throat> We'd be glad to go over some ways to use scanning with your QuickBooks Online. And stay tuned because we're going to be adding some mobile apps to make that even easier for you in the future. Thanks. Hope this helps you. Thanks.